This is Sankar, a small village in Radhi that is home to a handful of weavers still producing the Bure textile. The traditional Bure textile, a silk and cotton weave, is a textile treasure that comes from eastern Bhutan. The colors and designs of the fabric are far more muted than the extravagant kishathara that you see at most festivals. But it's still equally breathtaking. Anangawang Yangsum spends 10 hours every day weaving this textile. Hey, <laughs> Song <laughs> Ni <laughs> Oh, i saying that they use cornstarch and this is locally made cornstarch on the yarn and there's a difference there. The fabric out there is a lot softer and once it gets here it's very tough. Uh, that's why the the texture of the bure, the bura is a lot more tougher. And if this is not applied, then it becomes really loose and we even put the jalanila. Put the put the so the yarn is not strong enough to withhold it. That's why you have to apply starch. Mm. <laughs> And I think the prices go a lot higher when these reach, uh, reach Thimpu. When it comes to understanding 
um, the quality of craft and the value of craft. There have been instances where people haggle a lot with artisans, community artisans, um, without realizing there's a lot of time, skills, experience and history that goes into local craft. And the only thing that I can say is when you're dealing with local artisanal crafts, don't ask for a bargain and don't try to haggle with the local artisans. And I think this is one of the biggest issue when it comes to being able to sell these products. A lot of these households are now abandoned. Most of the families have moved out to either Pimpu or moved out to completely different places because this village is a little further than we would want. And um, it's really sad because hearing about how the Bure weaving tradition was kept alive by the women and the young girls of the village and how there would be scores of women lining up and then working in the fields and now you have basically three to four women working all by themselves alone um, on their uh, balconies so it's it's really sad to see that and um, hopefully the village finds a way to make a good income by selling this textile so that this tradition can be kept alive and the least we can do is if we ever make a trip towards the east to come to Radhi, to thank her, meet the weavers here, hear their stories and buy their textile. This is the least that we can do. Mm -hmm.